We got to rally people, talk to them. Now, there's a lot of black men in here, and I don't mean to, you know, not talk to other people, but this is important. Here we go. Kamala Harris, she went to Michigan. She's doing rallies now, and she's doing interviews. Who knew? And she's doing podcasts. She just did a podcast called I Call Her Call Her Daddy or something. I don't listen to that podcast, but I see it's a podcast people do listen to. She went on the All the Smoke podcast. Horrible. Horrible, horrible. Just terrible, terrible, terrible. That's so terrible, Ernie. So terrible, Ernie. I say I just terrible. I don't know why they just dumb. Terrible, Ernie. She had a rally in Flint, Michigan, and one of the people that were there bigging her up, one of the speakers there was Magic Johnson. Let's listen to Magic Johnson shield for Kamala Harris, folks. General, back in the state of California, her Cookie and I supported her run for attorney general back in the state of California, her run for senator, and now we support her as the VP, but now the biggest moment for all. I got to stop, but I got to ask you. Uh, Magic. Um, uh, if you supported her when she was running for the Attorney General, why the hell would you support her being a senator? You must really be stuck on stupid. How dumb can you be? Her, her Attorney General, you stand behind her work as Attorney General? Now I can hear you say, I supported her Senate run. I can see that because senators, by and large, can get away by not doing nothing. But Attorney General touches people's lives in a way that's more intimate. How the hell could you sit here and say you supported, you and, you and Cookie supported her as Attorney General? You saw the job she did in the, as Attorney General. And you get back in line and support her again? That is disgusting. That is, that is diabolical. Why don't you just tell the people, F the people. Yeah, you might as well just take your shirt off, put your pants on, say, kiss my ass, people. All y'all poor people, kiss my ass. Because that's what Kamala did to poor people. That's what she did as Attorney General. I know a few black women that don't like her so much because of what she did to them. She put a black woman in jail because of child head. Was it sickle cell? A, a recurring condition that flames up? Didn't want to listen to reason. My daughter's sick. Doctor's notes. Oh, no, we got to make an example out of her. <laughs> we got to make an example. You support that? You supported that? What about how she treated the firefighters? Like slaves. You supported that too, huh? Oh, man. Magic Johnson's not a child. He know what he's doing. He know what he's doing. He know what she did. He don't give a shit. He don't give a damn what she did. I met goofballs. I had met goofballs. It was, well, you know, them, them prisoners, they like coming outside. They like coming outside, you know, get some fresh air and working for you. Know, we're doing them. It's better than being in the cell. They get to go out there and fight fires. You shouldn't be dumb your whole life if you can avoid it. You know what I'm saying? She didn't do it for that, dumb dumb. She did it because it was cheaper. And I don't care how much, how spry you are. I don't care how much you like to run outside in the in the uh in the ever in the uh, the burning the burning forest. But um you ain't had the training that the regular firefighters had, foo foo. You are fodder. You are fighter for the damn forest. Let me get one more. Let me get one more off. As Attorney General, Kamala kept more people in jail than was authorized for safety concerns. When I did a deep dive into Kamala Harris, 
when I looked at what happened in their prison system under her tutelage, under her as the uh, attorney general, I saw a spike in incarceration. It was like a 30% st- spike. She ran on that. She ran on increasing incarceration. And she did just that to the point where Supreme Court had to be like, look, we need you to stop locking some of the people. You need to let, you let some people go. People are dying in jail, in your jails, from overcrowding. They had to damn near sue her. They had to write an order for her to release people. And she fought the order. She fought the order to let out prisoners. That's what she did. And we got this guy. You know, it's good for us to see this side of you, Magic Irvin uh, Johnson, because there are a lot of people that respect you just because you got money. I don't think you're respectable at all. I don't think you're respectable at all, bro. I think you're just another rich person who don't give a shit about poor people. Not really. You'll make money off of them. And you'll smile. You'll say nice things when it's time to do so. But see, that ain't enough for me because I've been around rich people. I'm from D.C. I've worked in government contracting. I met rich people like you. I've supported them, tech, them technology-wise. I've supported them. I work with the HUD secretaries and the, the, the secretary of this and the secretary of that. I see, I see highfalutin people that think they all this and all that. And I know what's, I know how you look at people who don't have what you have. Magic. I'm not even gonna go there on a personal note, but I'm gonna keep playing it, y'all. All of us. <laughs> nope. November the 5th, we have to do all we can to elect Kamala Harris as the next president. We don't have to do a damn thing, Magic. We don't have to do a damn thing. Of the United States. There we go. She wants to build up the middle class, and I know something about the middle class because I come from a middle class family. I would get up and walk out of here. Magic so damn lazy. He didn't even write his own corny ass uh, rhetorical BS. That's how they, you know you're lazy when you still line some Kamala Harris. You couldn't have left a better line from anybody else. You had to take a corny line. It's failing her. That's what happens when you get into your rich bubble. All the money in the world, none of the common sense. Don't got sense to wipe shit off a boot. But all the money in the world. Hi, people. They go, yeah, 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 yes. Yeah. Sounds good, Irving. <laughs> Mr. Johnson, sounds good. Why is he saying what she said? Shut up. Oh, sounds good, Johnson. <laughs> da, da, sir, sounds good, sir. Amazing speech. Riveting. She gonna win today. My father worked 30 years for Fisher Body. When I turned pro, I thought that was going to be the greatest moment in my father's life, but it wasn't. The greatest moment in his life came when he finally owned his own home. What does Kamala Harris wants to do as president? What she wants to do is lie and cheat and steal her way into office by saying, I'm going to give you some money for a down payment on a house. Now, your father worked 30 years at Fisher, right? And he had a rich ass son to help him pay that mortgage, didn't he? These people getting that $25,000 for the down payment, they still got to pay that note, Johnson. Don't they? It's sort of like that dumbass. I oh, we gonna give you, we gonna give you fifty thousand uh, dollars tax, it's a tax uh, write off for your business. Yeah, but I can't start the business on a write off that I get next year. How am I start a business with fifty thousand dollars write off next year? I think we missed the 
operative word in that sentence, start. Start would mean something to, to begin in the beginning. Taxes are something you get on the back end. But we got a lot of people that can't think. You know what I think is is people, not Magic. Magic's a sellout. He's he, he, in the, he on the team. He a, he, a, he a team player. He a team member. But I'm telling you, we got people that are good people. They're just afraid to push back against authority. Anybody that said to you, yeah, I'm going to give you some money for taking me up there. I'm going to give you some money to, you know, to take me up, take me across town. You know, next year. You'd be like, well, how am I supposed to get you across town this year? For money, you're going to give me next year. And it ain't even money giving you. It's a tax thing. So if you fail, no put hammers. millions of Americans in their own home, give them $25,000 to start them off to be homeowners. Look at that. Just dumb. Don't know anything I just said. They didn't tell you go out here and say anything, huh, huh Irvin? Did she call you the night before? Did you hit up Cookie, FaceTime you ain't had time to get somebody to write your speech. I know you got good people. Well, you got a lot of people. That's very important. Then she wants to also what? have more small business owners. And she's going to help them out by giving them $50,000 for startup new small business owners tax deduction. Oh, yeah, you had to clean that up a little bit, right? Because it's tax deduction. It's that money. Right? She's smart. She's strong. She's a liar. She's a fake. She's a phony. She's passionate. She's brought and paid for. Nobody's going to outwork her. Everybody outworks her. She's committed to you. She needs to be committed. You, as the people of the United States, the people of Michigan, she's committed to you. She needs to be committed to an insane asylum. She's going to be a president for everybody. Ooh, great. Just what black people been waiting on. Another president for everybody. Oh, man. Yeah, man, I'm wondering, when was the last time you heard a white president, somebody running white, say, I'm going to be president for everybody. Everybody. I don't remember Bush saying, I want to be president for everybody. I don't remember Reagan saying, well, I, I was a little kid, little, little kid, but I remember when he got shot, was coming home from school, people, people was like, why y'all dancing in the street? Nah, they weren't dancing. They weren't dancing. People were just doing their regular business. But I don't remember Reagan being like, I'm going to be a president for everybody. I'm going to be president. No. No, I don't remember that. None of the Bushes. Just Oprah and Kamala. That's just re reminding white people. White people, that's the way that the black people is semi-black. That's how they remind you that you ain't got to worry. I ain't going to do nothing for them black people. Give me your vote, please. I'm going to be worse to them than you would. Because I'm not going to sit here and say that I'm going to do anything for them. I'm not. I'm not going to sit here and say. That's exactly what they're telling you, white people. That's for you. It ain't for us. And we got goofy Democrats having the audacity to chastise and go after black people that ain't nothing. I'm, I'm, I'm an independent, man. I'm not even registered Democrat or Republican. And they'll go after me 
Like I did something to them, like I owe them a vote or something. They go out to me like, like, like I broke in their house and stole their vote. Well, my vote. Like they had my vote and I'm breaking into their house and stealing it back. They're like, what are you doing? Go on with your vote. How dare you take your vote and do what you want to do with it? How dare you do that? Sir, it's my vote. These people are delusional, man, and they're control freaks. Some people are just freaks. And the one thing she's going to do is finally unite us, bring us together. I don't want to be together. I want to be rich. <laughs> or at least able to pay my bills without worrying about the shit. Do you want to be there? I don't want to be together. Every time somebody say we're going to be together, they lying, they taking your mind and your eye off the money. This has to stop. Our black men, we got to get them out to vote. That's number one. Why? Is there something for us? Is there something for us? Something particularly for us? For black men to come out and vote? Okay, black families. Is there anything specific, particular for black families that would warrant you making that statement? That would make the focus be on us? Because usually when people say, hey, you need to be here. I told everybody to come, but I need you to be here. Especially you. That usually means there's something special for us back there. So what's back there, magic? Is it magic or is it just you being a shield? Kamala's opponent promised a lot of things last time to the black community that he did not deliver on. And he did a lot of deportations. He did deliver on that deportations and trying to end wars. What did he promise black people? Hmm. Can't think I recall anything he said he was going to do for black people. Jobs, money. We got to make sure we help black men understand that. So that's why I'm here to make sure I... Make sure we understand, huh? Because we stupid. Yeah, we need to understand that Trump didn't do what he said he was going to do. What did Biden and Kamala say they were going to do? Why are you here? What Kamala said she going to do? That I should come out for her. Under, help black men understand. First, get out and vote, and then vote for the next president of the United States, Kamala Harris. Yeah, um, I'm glad you got out when you did, because you ain't had nothing of importance to say. Except, vote for her. Because that's what you need to do. Well, I tell you, man, the shucking and jiving is just don't stop. It just don't stop. You got to help your friend, huh? Got to help your friend. I'm still, I still can't get over. Um, you should not talk directly to black men about what black men need to do. You need to talk about the incentives of black men for doing uh, what, you, what you are suggesting. You, do, you need to lead with that. Don't tell us what we need to do. Don't, don't tell us what we need to do, Magic. Tell us what we get for doing it. Tell us how our lives going to be better. Tell us how our family's going to be better. Tell us how our economic positioning going to be better. Tell us how this wealth, wealth gap going to close. Tell us how we're going to excel. Tell us how we're going to be able to provide for our families to a better extent under the new Kamala as opposed to the old Kamala and Biden and Harris. Um, uh, Biden and Harris regime. That's what you should be doing. That's salesmanship. And you as a person who has a number of businesses, I would think you would know a little bit about salesmanship. Apparently not. Apparently all you know is identity politics. And that ain't been working out so good for us. So we're going to have to pass on that. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to have to pass on the identity politics. I'm going to go ahead and take two, two scoops of economic, economic uh, um, betterment. That opportunity, economic incentives. Yeah, I want two scoops of economic incentives. Talk to me like I'm a white man. <laughs> yeah, talk to me like I'm white. 
and offer me incentives that have to do with the wallet. Because that's what we need to catch up the most at. If we catch up at the wallet magic, then we could be a lot better off. I am tired of y'all selling us a bill of um, kumbaya, holding hands and skipping. That ain't how you got where you are. You ain't get where you are by holding hands and skipping. You got there through making money. One thing she's going to do is finally unite us, bring us together. Nobody watching this needs to be together. You know what? I, you know what? I'm sorry, guys. I want to be together. The classes. There you go. I want it to stop being 1% owned and everything and the rest of us fighting over crumbs. How about bringing us together this way, Magic? So you don't want that. Huh? Huh? How about that way, Magic? Huh? See, for these step and fetch it Negroes, it's good to say, we need to unite everybody because he sit up here. Man, America's very segregated, by the way, guys. We got Chinatown. I know if you listen to Candace Owens, you think it's just the blacks who are separated. They want their own, they want their own Juneteenth Day. Now, there's Chinatowns and Greek towns and Korea towns. It's, all, it's literally, we got separate little Italy. There's, there's little little Havana. There's all these little ass. There's a lot of little clusters of people that just, there's, there's neighborhoods with just Lithuanians in it. It's a, it's a lot of that all across this country. That right there is what America is. Okay? But what we need to focus on, what I'm focused on, people that got sense, that understand what America runs on. It don't run on diversity. It runs on commerce. And we need... If we need to integrate anything, we need to integrate the classes. We need to move this like this. Because the black wealth gap between white people and black people is so vast, that's what I want to change. I want to change that money gap. It'll be good for everybody. Because I know if I got some money, I ain't going to Africa to spend it. I'm going to spend it right here in the United States. So any money that we make as we close this racial wealth gap will contribute to all the businesses in America. Okay? But, but see, that's not what Magic's on. He ain't on that. Magic talking about some, Magic talking about some old, oh, we need to, everybody, ever, and, uh, and Martin Luther King said, the character, and everybody judge a man by the character. You on that stuff. Nah, see, that's, look, man, we don't focus on that for 70 years, 60 years. 55 years we can focus on that. Let's focus on commerce. Because obviously that ain't get it done for us, did it? MLK came up to a two. He was like, uh-oh, we integrated into a burning house. We could sit at the table, the lunch counter with him, but now we ain't got no money to order a sandwich. And that's what they said. Oh, we got to get rid of MLK because MLK talking about that money, that paper. See, Magic Johnson got his. He perfectly fine with us not getting ours. He almost done now. He's almost done. I think he just says the same thing three more times. That other party is trying to tear us down. You know what? Here goes a good thing. Let me, let me say this, Magic. Get your ass off my screen, bro. That's shame. That's shameful. Magic Johnson. Whose party's in power? Whose party been in power the last four years? Are we divided now, undivided? I'm just saying, what would, what, how, they try to tear us down. Are we down? Who tore us that way? Magic Johnson owned a lot of successful businesses. Magic, the person you talking about, her and her boss been in power. They in power now. If you're saying we need to change a vision, one of the vision people, the owners of the vision that's currently in display, currently in effect in America right now, is Kamala Harris. So what you're saying is the solution to our problem is the same person that's part of the problem. I don't see how that's possible. 
That don't make sense. I don't think you employ that type of logic when it comes to the Magic Johnson Enterprises. Now, I think you fired ass. That's what you would do. You fired others. I read up on you. Why is it that now, all of a sudden, you don't think people should be fired when they don't perform, when they underperform? Hmm. Stuck on stupid. He ain't stuck on stupid. He part of the team. Stop. You know, when we say people are for re- for regular working people, Magic got a Magic got staffs of people to do different stuff for him. He don't even tell people what to do. He got one person probably tell everybody else what to do. He probably don't even deal with half his businesses at all. He just look at the money come in. What I need to where I need to be to pinch to, to pinch baby's cheeks, shake hands, where I need to show up at. That's what he do. He's been doing that. He's been that he been operating that way for probably the last 20 years. But he ain't get there by rehiring people that suck. And Kamala and Joe Biden suck at this point. And you can't say we need to do all these ma- amazing things to take us out of hell and then let the people that have been in charge get a pass. It's showtime. It's sellout time. And at one time, did I bring up the fact about you and your family? Because I don't have to go there to prove my point. But Lord Jesus, they was lighting your ass up on X. Talking about black men need to do. Black men need to do this. Black men need to do that. I don't know if you be telling black men what to do. Sir. Let's go to the next thing, man. And this is, uh, this is, hit the, oh, I'm sorry. Could you hit the like button? Everybody, please hit the like button. We're going to go to another, another uh, story, another story on a Sunday, guys. How y'all feeling? Here, hit the like button. Help us fight the algorithm. It works against us because, we say mean things like, you know, stop lying to us. You know, we, if you don't go along, they don't like you. They don't want you to talk. So the only reason why I'm able to do what I'm able to do is because of you. So uh, if the algorithm says, well, these people like them, the liberals, they don't like them, but these people do, then they'll go find me some more people like you. So please hit the like button. 